Hello guys, it's the Wolverine Stain today. We are back once again in the weird and the wonderful world of Minecraft. Um, doing what we always do in our daily episodes, which is just kicking some ass, building some weird shit and having fun as we always do. Uh, but yeah, in the last episode I said I still need to get some wood. And yeah, I'm still going to stick to that guys because we need to finish off that bridge. Um, I'm tempted to not even go back to going at the, the, um, the fencing. I'm just tempted to just sit here and actually just mine enough so I can make my own fencing anyway. Because I think it might actually be a bit quicker than running all the way back. And at the minute I can't even remember which direction is the way home. That's uh, that's actually quite scary as well guys because of the fact that I, you know, I'm building all these things purely to make myself safe. Uh, so I can go exploring and I know where everything is. But I can't even remember which way home is. So that is quite scary. But you know what, we'll get through it. <laughs> we'll manage to find our way back somehow. And it will be okay. Right, I don't know exactly how much wood I need to mine. I'm just going to keep mining until I feel, you know what, that's about close enough. Uh, right, let's mine the rest as well. Right, so again, we are collecting more saplings along the way. We could just mine one of the really, really big trees. But I think clearing out some of the smaller trees is always a good idea. Because then it stops... Um, it stops us from being able to see, all the small trees stop us from being able to see our way back. And I mean, even though we can't exactly see our way back now, it's just nice to be able to, um, to be able to start to clear out the, you know, stomach, uh, sorry guys, my, my speeching, my speeching, my speaking is still terrible. But yeah, it helps us to be able to clear out uh, some of the problems on the way back. And I think that's, that's quite a good thing. Okay, Mr. Creeper. Why are you here? Why are you still alive? You should have been dead. And not because, yeah, you know, I know they don't burn up in the day, guys, but I presumed it had despawned or something by now. But, uh, obviously I was wrong. Obviously I was wrong. There's a zombie still in there as well, so. How much wood? Alright, so I've got over a 64 stack of wood. I didn't think I had quite that much. But, you know what? It'll be, it'll be, it'll do. Right, well, this is just going to do a couple of 64 stacks for now because our inventory is starting to get quite full. And, you know what? We might even just have to build a house over it just so we can keep doing um and yes yeah, so we can just keep getting getting all of our uh all of our resources and stuff like we are at the mini but it's always good to have a couple of houses here and there guys uh, as again it just allows you to sort of resupply and then no matter where you die uh you know if you do just run out and forget things at least then there's a chance you're going to run back into uh a place where you can stop off and get supplies along the way and that's what's important guys just being able to make sure you know, we can stop off and just make sure the world looks as beautiful as possible because that is another good thing that we want. I would actually put some posts in as well to make it look like, uh, you know, sort of the wood supporting the uh, the bridge. But the thing is, guys, with how far down the water probably goes, it's probably not going to be the best or the easiest to do, to be honest. So I'll, I'll have to have a think about it and see what, see what I think's best. But, I mean, so far, guys, we have done great. This will be our second episode building the bridge now. But in all fairness, we was going cave exploring for the first episode, or else we probably would have had the bridge built by now. Uh, or near enough built. Like, you know, to a point where we could have built it in the episode. I mean, guys, the main structure, that is. Uh, right, so. Like that, like that, like this, like that. So, already, guys, you know, most of it's done. And, you know, I'm actually quite happy with the bridge overall. It looks quite cool. It looks quite nice. Once the uh, the fencing's on it, it's going to look even better. You know, obviously, that's a, that's a, a definite, guys. Right, and then two and three. So, you know, the problem is I need some more torches. So, I made six as well, guys, just to use up all of the, um, all of the coal. Not the coal, the, uh, the sticks. I bet say we do have this somewhere. Right, so, now we are going to have to make some more wood to make up the uh, the numbers again. And let's make up, let's make 264 stacks. And then we'll make some more of that. And then fencing wise, we should be okay. We'll just use as much as as much as much we can. Will 54 be enough? Uh, probably not. Not going to lie to you guys, it probably won't be enough. But you know what, we're going to have a look anyway and just see how far it gets. So we can roughly estimate how many more we need to make. But, you know what, I think definitely already guys. This bridge, bridge, this bed, uh, bridge, I must say bed then, this bridge is going to look epic, it's going to look quite cool, quite different, well I say quite different, all of our bridges look the same, uh, in all realistic terms, that was 57 fences, this bridge is going to be like 100 blocks long, god damn guys, this is going to take us a lot more wood than I actually thought it would, 
We might actually have to go back and mine some more. Damn, I didn't think it was that much. Definitely didn't think it was that much. Right, we're gonna have to turn all of this into wood. And then we're gonna have to get some some stairs. That should do us, I'm hoping. Let's see how many we need this side and then it'll tell us how many we need that side. Nah, this one does. I got stuck as well. Uh, okay, so then we got one, two, three. So we used 12 fences, uh, 12 stairs there, so two more of them. Okay, then we need some sticks and then it's just going to be pure fences. Like, damn guys, I didn't actually realise how much we'd use uh, just, just building goddamn fences and stuff. Like, I honestly didn't think we'd use this much. But uh, by the looks of it, yeah, this is definitely going to be a bit more of a problem than I thought it would in the first race. And now we are just out of wood, I think, in general. Right, so, I mean, as you guys have seen, this is going to be a lot more work than I thought it would. And it's probably going to take this episode and maybe some of the next episode. So, I do sort of apologise in advance. But in a way, I don't because it's going to be epic and cool. And we're just sort of expanding our world, guys, and making it look awesome. Now, could you imagine if we had to swim or boat over here every single time? Although we could have built a dock and put a shit ton of boats in here with the amount of wood we've used. I just don't think it would have been the same as building the bridge, guys, because it just wouldn't have looked as nice, as good, like, whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, I definitely think this this was the way to go, Birdie, even with how long it took us right now. I was looking for my torches, but they was already there. So, you know, I'm kind of terrible. Right, so let's clear ourselves out a bit of space. Yes, I am actually going to put down my crafting table just to make a shovel for this little bit. It just saves, well, I say saves a little bit of time. It's probably going to take more time than it's going to have saved. But you know what guys, I am not even bothered in the slightest. Because it's just it's just so much easier with a shovel. It just it sounds sounds funny, but it just looks a lot less laborious and time consuming and I just prefer it. So there we go. And um, we're actually gonna corner this off just so it looks a little bit more natural. Uh where's the stairs? There are the stairs. And I think once we've done this bridge we'll actually return back to our house for a little bit. Uh, probably won't be for that long, but just for a bit at least. Right, yeah. There's a definite that we're going to need some more uh, more fences here. And the worst thing is we've got to build them all out of spruce, so we can't even use none of our other wood. Uh, I know we ain't got none on us at the minute, but I'm just saying. They have all got to be out of spruce, so we have actually got to mow more. I meant to ask, we could have mined. Yeah, I mean, logged some of these trees over there. And it would have been would have been quite nice. Although I might mine them and replace them with spruce because that is the wood we're realistically using the most at the minute. Uh, just because I think spruce is one of the better colours. Like, don't wrong, I prefer dark oak and stuff like that. But at the minute, spruce is doing me good. Now, if I'd have built this bridge too wider, it probably would have looked a little bit better with the fencing on. But it would have took that a little bit like, longer. It would have took us an extra, like, you know, like, maybe two stacks worth of wood. Which, if you think about it, that's another 32 blocks we've got to mine, guys. So, I mean, it all adds up quite quick. Uh, so, yeah, it's just about saving time as much as anything else, guys. Time saving is key. And just making sure everything's there is key as well. Right, so, as much as I said I'm going to mine a load of wood and stuff, I am going to collect all these saplings up and kill off this cow. Because the cows are more important at the minute, hoping they're dropping leather, that is. Because uh, if they drop leather, then we are absolutely set. Because we need that for our enchantment table. But we do also need diamonds, which we still haven't got yet. But we will get at some point very, very soon, guys. Because I'm just going to start strip mining in one of the episodes, I think. Uh, because I think it's quite important to get to get the diamonds down. Uh, or else we're just going to be sitting here for like ever. We know diamond tools. And just building stuff. Which, although it will be cool. Because, you know, we'll be seeing our world progress and everything. You know, it's not always the coolest to sit there and have to watch. You know, your world progress without any diamonds. Without being able to get any of the... You know, any of the better tools, because I mean with diamonds, we could probably progress it quite a bit quicker. And you know, that's all important stuff. It's all part of the process, guys. It is all part of the process. Right. So, I am going to try and finish this bridge in this episode. Whether or not it's going to work, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking probably not. Uh, especially since it's starting to get night, and that means mobs are going to start spawning and stuff. But you know what? There's a chance. So, you know, on this channel, guys, we always go for the chances. Because... If you sit there and sit there in your comfort zone all the time, I know it's only a game. But if you uh, if you sit in your comfort zone constantly, you ain't never gonna progress anywhere decent. You're just gonna sit there in the same spot, doing the same thing, and maybe slowly progressing here and there. 
So I think it's important, guys, that we uh, we make as much as we can in the small space. Well, make use as much as you can in the small space of time that we've got. Or else, yeah, it's just boring. Right, okay, so I planted two for nothing. Oh, that's just me all over. Wasting blocks. Right, I think a stack of wood should definitely be enough to do the last bit of fencing. Bearing in mind, I say, I think. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I do think it should be enough. Like, logically, I'm thinking so. Uh, okay, so we're going to collect a few more of these saplings again, just just so we know that no matter what, I mean, I know we've already got a 64 stack at home, but that we know no matter what, you know, there is enough saplings about and available that we can replant all of the trees that we've knocked down, guys, because oh, we have knocked down a shit ton of trees, a literal shit ton. And But my God, was it worth it? I think it was. I mean, look how sexy that bridge looks. If you ask me, that looks absolutely beautiful. And I, I actually think it looks stunning. But again, guys, that's just me. I do think it looks beautiful, though. Right, so. I let's hope a creeper down blows up. B, let's get some wood. And there we go, so then let's make some more sticks up. Uh, one, two. Yeah, so that's going to go one hour. We should have limited to that. Yep, which is what I wanted. And then we have a problem. No, we don't. That's why. You, you, you use the one from the full stack instead of the, the two, which I think is stupid, personally, but... Hey-ho. Alright, so we can make some more as we go along. Uh, we've got enough wood still and everything, so... We'll make it as we go along, guys. Right, there we go. But, you know what? Honestly, guys, I am actually quite proud of how, how much we've achieved just by building this bridge in that short space of time. I know it might not seem like much guys compared to like, you know, what some YouTubers may do in a video, like, you know, you can set up an automated farm, or some of the stuff we've even done in the other episodes, like building most of the watchtower. Uh, but when you think about the pure, you know, the sheer size of this bridge in two episodes, it is not bad. And the fact that we've finished it off and managed to put the fencing on in this one episode, that is a bit of a bonus. And we did just lose that torch though, so, you know, take off 10 points now, I'm joking. But, uh, yeah. You know, I think we've done quite good, guys. I think we have done quite well. I'm quite proud of me. I'm quite proud of us. Right, so, we are going to need even more fencing. I don't know how much more that is, but any we've got left over, it'll be it'll be fine. Right, so, let's just go here. Yeah, 24 has got to be enough. If 24 isn't enough, then I'm doing something wrong. Right, there we go. Oh, what, what should we be like one short or something now? And I will just laugh. Nah, that's fine. Alright, I think that's quite cool. We, should we make some more torches just in case? Because I'm going to come back down and place torches exactly opposite everywhere here, guys. Uh, we're going to knock this one off because I think that's a bit too close to the other one. Mind you, that one is there, so maybe... Was, it, was that in the same spot? I don't know, it might have been. But right, there we go, guys. So one there. One there. So we're just going to literally go down and place the torches like this, just A for a bit of symmetry, because I like the symmetry in my builds, uh, but B, just to make it so I know that no mobs are going to spawn here, it just makes it that little bit nicer down here guys. Hey ho, it's going to look beautiful, it's going to look pretty, and it's going to be amazing, right, so, sorry about this guys, my concentration levels when I'm doing stuff like this, so we'll get a bit... I don't know, it's, uh, I concentrate more on this than I do actually speaking, and it gets a bit funny. Right, there we go, so, is that level? Yes, yeah, it's level in here, yeah. Sorry guys, that looked like it was level for a minute, I was like, uh, what's going on now? And then let's put one there, and one there. So now guys, this looks perfection, absolute perfection. We have the bridge up, we will come back at some point to build the watchtower of the house. I'm going to run in the rough general direction that I think my house is in. Uh, I don't actually even know the direction that my house is in, so I'm just going to hope for the best, to be honest. And there it is. So that, guys, I've seen the sugar cane before, I've seen anything else. Uh, partly because there was light on it, so it just looked like a really weird green in the background. But, I mean, it's just it's generally quite nice. And this entire little stretch of river down here is really, really nice as well. I, I think, personally, guys, this is definitely a really nice area. You know, we might have to set up some more waypoints and stuff. But it looks quite nice. But uh, yes, guys, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't enjoyed it, have a like and subscribe. Do all good stuff down below. Also, guys, want me with a share? So I'm here tomorrow to 500 subscribers, guys. It really does mean the world to me. Every single subscriber again, 
it just makes me feel a lot better guys it just makes everything seem better when you gain subscribers uh, but yes guys um, also check out the just giving link in the description down below um, I am basically going to be doing a leg wax and I'm going to be doing my hair pink so if you guys want to see that bit of fun bit of a laugh bit of a cringy video actually most likely then uh, yeah be sure to let me know and donate and share but that's all I can ask for guys but yes guys this has been Royal Rooster and yeah I'm out peace